Take two turfs as needed, applied to sensitive area. Who wrote this? I can't do this all on my own. No, I know I'm no Superman. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on, Carla, give me one good reason why you won't go out with me. Well, you're a surgeon, so you got the God complex, the cockiness, the whole married to the job thing. You're cute, but you're very, very aware of it. You have no idea what I'm like, so all your feelings for me are coming from down there. <clears throat> but most of all, I'm looking for the real thing, and you're nothing but a little boy who's not used to being told no. <laughs> so there's a bunch of reasons. Pick your favorite. I'd go with the God Complex. But it's hard to choose, you know, they're all so good. <laughs> I'm telling you, Kelso didn't even ask and she gave you full credit. I don't care. Too little, too late. Plus, I know why you're really here. So, I'm gonna park myself right here in that VIP section. <laughs> so you can give me what you got. I was gonna tell you how I busted JD's chops the other day for wanting to be friends with the girl. And now I find it so amazing to see how strong you are how well you carry yourself, how I'd give anything just to wake up in the morning and watch you read the paper. But instead, I think you should hop off your broom for a second, try and remember what it was like when you first started here, and give Elliot a break. Because she may be a chore, but she is a good person. And your ass is especially fine today. Pick me up tomorrow at 7. She's not the only one. Beach. I'm borrowing a sweatshirt. Excuse me, what did we agree you would do whenever I left a room? Oh, I'm sorry, baby. That's better. Ah. Oh, that? <laughs> <laughs> My man Turk is getting it daily, nightly, and ever so rightly. Ah! What up, dude? Once every 4.2 seconds, a man says something stupid that a woman hears and punishes him for. Luckily, this wasn't one of those times. What did you just say? What up, dog? Why would you think that Turk and I slept together? Because I'm a nurse? Because I'm Latina? No, just because you guys have been dating for a while. Do Latina women put out more? Because that's not something I've, I've ever heard. Turk told me. No, I didn't. No, I swear. Look, he, he assumed. Uh-huh. And did you correct him? Well, you know, I've been really busy at the hospital lately. Is that how you see this relationship, as some mad dash to the finish line? Because I'll take you into that bedroom right now, and I promise you, you will be walking sideways for the rest of your life because I will have used all your up and down. Now, is that what you want? No. Good. Because what I want is for this to be a real relationship. I want us to know each other better than we know ourselves. Wow. <laughs> That's right, wow. So if you really want me daily and nightly and ever so rightly, that sounds like something you say. Show me that you know me. Hey, Carla. Carla. Wait! Where are you going? I'm gonna go crash at my place tonight, like you said. You wanna know what's wrong? That's what's wrong. I'm gonna go shit out at my house, like you said. God, you're so sexy right now. And I've been doing a lot of thinking, and, you know, past that whole new, exciting relationship phase. And all that's left is us. Baby, I gotta tell you, you drive me crazy, all right? You take my french fries, you, you boss me around in front of my friends. You said strong women turn you on. Forget about it. Look, we all know what you're going to do, so why not be a man and do it so I can go home? Okay. I love you. You annoy me more than I ever thought possible, but I want to spend every irritating minute with you. Me too. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> hey, I don't get it, though. Why are you doing this to me? All I wanted to do was have sex with a foxy nurse, and, and now I'm in love? Mm, sweetie, it happens. Scalpel. Scalpel what? Scalpel, please. Here you go, baby. Sorry. 
Dr. Baby. <laughs> Shall we proceed, Dr. Baby? So, um, we've known each other for like a year and a half, right? Turk. That's my wife. Yeah, I know. Just give me a second. Just give me a second, okay? I've been thinking a lot lately. I'm talking here! Turk, I'm, I'm gonna miss my flight. I gotta go, honey. I'm sorry. Will you marry me? What did you say? I think I said, will you marry me? Turk, wow. I got a ring. Um, I don't have it on me, but uh, it's in a safe place. I can't believe this. I, I've imagined you saying this to me like a thousand times. I just never imagined that when you actually ask, all I would say is, I need to think. Cool. Uh, yeah. Whew. That's, 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 that's what I was hoping to hear. I love you. I really do. Love you too. I'll be back in a few days. I'll wait. You want to grab a cup of coffee? I don't know. Uh... I'll let you talk to it before you drink it. OK. We can get one cup of coffee. One cup. One cup. Sure. Hold on one second. Let me just answer this real quick. Yellow? Ask me again. Uh, sorry, but I gotta go. Mm -hmm. She woke from a dream. Her head was on fire. What was he so nervous? her to the park she crossed her arms and lowered her eyelashes someday somebody's gonna ask you a question that you should say yes to once in your life maybe tonight I got a question for you I've got a question for you. From the moment I woke up this morning, I have been freaking out about getting married. Luckily, Carl is being cool. Okay, this is your last chance to uninvite that slut you went out with in high school. She's married to my brother. Isn't that convenient? Thank God she thinks that hot chick teen I invited is my cousin. Well, guess what? There's no blood there, baby. Oh, and by the way, don't think for a second that your cousin Tina's gonna be sitting at our table. Oh my God, she's in my head. It's okay. Use it to your advantage. Make me a grilled cheese sandwich, woman. Make it yourself. I got diabetes. Oh no, Turk, really? Carla. I call this Turk's diabetes box. Here is a recipe for sugar-free brownies. Mm-mm. Okay. Here's a bunch of articles I downloaded off of the internet. Thank you. What are you up to, baby? I've been using all my downtime to study medicine so I can prove to Dr. Cox I'm not just another dumb surgeon. 
But every time I crack open these books, my brain says, who cares about this crap? Then I wonder if we have any frozen sugar-free fruit juice pops at home. I'm gonna help you study tonight. And for every right answer that you get, I'm gonna give you a bite of a frozen fruit juice pop. Or, if you prefer, I can remove an item of clothing. Okay, a major indicator of hypokalemia is? A potassium level under 3.5. Right! And here comes your reward. Yeah, come to daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Say, baby, what happened to your shirt? Oh, Izzy spit up on me earlier. Well, how come you ain't put a new one on? And you lied to me. No, uh-uh, no. You never asked me if I dated Dr. Cox. You can ask me anything. I would never lie to you. Do you sometimes wish I had hair? Yes. This is a nightmare. I'm standing here living in a nightmare. OK, maybe I'm guilty of a lie of omission. Because you're a lie omitter. I know this may be asking too much, but could you please try and keep it together until we can get home and talk about it? Fine. Thank you. Carla, I like your hair that way. <gasps> going on? They're about to start. Charcoal Ten, if you are trying to get the same $5 million settlement that damn hook-handed security guard got, you're out of luck, stud. Because I put a release button right here on top. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for, son? Get in there. How you doing, beautiful? Derek, you're here. I'm so hot. Don't sweat it. I got you. I got my hands on a miracle. I can fill you with joy. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to Isabella Turk. I'm a daddy. <laughs> I'm a daddy. can even give your heart the answer you thought you'd never find. Women aren't funny. Your wife must have a sense of humor. She's seen you naked. Oh. Drop my key, come back. Do I call you or do I just commit a crime? Probably committing a crime would get me to you quicker. This is me at my most inviting. 